Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Mill 3D Tutorials and Toolpaths. We are learning on a Mastercam different module and a different video and now we are one more time we are back on the Mastercam Mill 3D Toolpath and in this video we will learn about Mastercam Mill 3D little different kind of toolpath but it is very effective toolpath and the toolpath is known as a blend milling. So what is a blend milling? how we can use that one toolpath and what is the beauty and the finishing of this toolpath so for example we have that one component where we have to do the machining for that kind of shape so we need a toolpath with like this one line should be like this one so we are already created this toolpath and now first I would like to show you the simulation of that ultimate level of toolpath that how it's work and how it's cutting the material so now first we have a look that how it with tool is going on that tool path is cutting with the same path like as a profile so that time the finishing should be much better much and the cycle time is also reduced the tool load it will be also decreases and it's a best way to create a beautiful tool path now have a look it is starting then end starting then end and it is starting from the one corner to the second edge and that is the best way to create a beautiful tool path and how it's work so now as you can see here this is the way how it the, we can create a tool path and how it's going to be work so this is called a uh, blend milling so in this video we will learn about what is the process of blend milling what are the different kind of things and what is the parameter of blend milling and what is the trip trick that is different as compared to any other mill 3d toolpath so we will learn each and everything about the blend milling toolpath and now we have to start to learning this one so before we are starting to create the video on a blend milling toolpath and learn about that how it's work first i would like to use my one of favorite button that delete all operations and just say ok so now we have all the parameters from the default so for creating a blend milling toolpath one of the most important thing that we need to curve a to curve what is the meaning of the curve that tool path will be follow both of the curve which we are created with this here so for example we want to create tool path on this surface so for that we need to create a curve we have to came in a wireframe curve on edge click on this click on this and this 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 and this so that's the way how we can create now the next step we have to came in a mill tool path after that here we have to came in a mill 3d once we click on a mill 3d we have to select the tool path which we want to create so for example for now we have to learn the blend milling tool path so we have to click on a blend uh, we have to reset the stock value just click on ok and just select the entire portion now in the next portion that is the way where we defining the work where we want to create the tool path for example if we click or select the complete model file so that we can also select but the best way is you have to define only the area where we need to create the tool path for example we just unselect the all and we want to create the tool path on this surface so we are just selecting this surface and after that we have to came in tool path control the best trick that we have to control for the blend milling tool path that is we have to came in a tool path control and there is a parameter that we have to define right at here that is curve we have to came at here and curve and we have to define the curve between both of the surfaces the first is this and second is this and just say ok we have to define two number of curves right at here next step we have to define a tool we have to click on a select tool library and we have to define a tool after that we can define free spin, spin and remaining all in the next step we have to came in a cut parameter so in a cut parameter we have to define the cutting style that what should be the cutting style that we have to follow we can say the optimized cut order what will the step over we have to define that is also and after that for example I just say ok as you can see here right at here I just say ok so now what is happening my tool path is created in a perfect and a proper way tool is path is starting to cut from the one side to the another side and that is the tool path
if we want to make some changes for example that project it's a 2d i have to convert it in 3d once i make it convert from 2d to 3d so now let we have to look that what will be the changes on a toolpath and how it is going to be reacted so as you can see here when we are look at have a look of when we are that is 2d so at this one portion the toolpath was not properly not much beautiful but right at here have a look with this one the toolpath is much smoother much clearer much cleaner as compared to the last toolpath so we have to came in a parameter make sure in a linking parameter we have to make the clearance value if needed we can add on and these are all the lead in lead out parameter that is all available right at here in the next step in a blend milling in a cut parameter there are some values are also available right like at here if we click on a flip step or so you can also flip the step or value also for example for re regenerating the easily i make the step over is 0.5 and tolerance is 0.1 and now we have to make some experiment with the cutting parameter so you can understand what are the different cutting parameter and how it's going to be used so for example that is the tool part which is created with along with the surface at here if we want to take some specific number of passes for example we just need five number of passes so just we have to define total number of passes should be five so it have to be start from this one to the end of this so the total number of passes should be only five passes if you want don't want to add on this so we can so it will do automatically create the tool path as per the step or value that we are defining so all these things that we can control in a proper way in a best way so that's the everything about the blend milling tool path that for the creating of blend milling tool path we have to create select we have to came in tool path control you have to define first selected tool path after that you have to came at here you have to define the machining geometry where we have to create a machining geometry after that we have to came in tool path control and you have to define a curve where we have to want to create a tool path after that we have to select a tool and you have to come to cut parameter in a cut parameter optimize the cut should be on the path should be zigzag step or value as you want to create and in a pocket project it should be 3d for make a proper tool path so that's the each and every single parameter that we are defining to create a blend milling tool path now i would like to show you one trick that is much imp most important for each of you guys we if you want to create a tool path which much beautiful way so what is the best way for that one you have to came in a surface you have to click solid surface from solid and we can create the surface on the area where we want to do the machining for example the tool path is not going to be going outside from this so what is that is the trick that we have to use we have to came in a surface and we have to make extend this surface click on extend defining the value should be 5 mm right at here this side 5 mm this side click on the surface area and just hide the remaining all the portion now in the next step what that we think that we have to do we have to came in a wireframe curve on edge click click on this this one this one and this one now have a look that is the blend milling portion now in the next step we want to create a tool path where the tool path have to be should be going extra from the model so that time we have to came in a parameter in a tool path control we have to click and first unselect all these portion select these three area we have to came in tool path control unselect this now just like this in a tool we have to define a tool cut parameter that is the step or value and remaining also be same so as you can see right at here what is the trick for this tool path if you want some extension at the edge of these kind of blend milling tool path you have to create a surface extend this surface after that create curve on this area and you can control that the best way so that is the way that you can extend your tool path and create a beautiful tool path that is the best trick 
so i hope you guys get understand about each and every single parameter about the blend milling how it is the blend milling how we can create this and how it is going to be work on a proper way so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video where we will learn about that how we what is the lead in and lead out parameter for the master cam mill 3d that is the add on with the 2023 so see you in next video keep learning